Alright guys, 8 a.m. Depletion day. Not a refeed day, but we are six days out. Let's see the damage. There we go, it looks good. It's a nice looking weigh in. So at this point, the weight's been so consistent and everything, it's kind of almost pointless to use the scale at this point because we're so close. We can really go by the mirror, but it's a pretty good number, so. Let's get things started. <sighs> So that wraps up the last meeting with the coach pre-contest. So we talked about the diet a little bit. He took a look at me, you know, the usual. And we we're taking my carbs to 50 for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and fats to 85 for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Gonna drink a lot of distilled water. And uh, starting Wednesday, he actually didn't tell me how we're gonna carve up or anything, but that's when you add back in the carbs, or at least for me and we'll start getting some junk meals in Friday night and all that type of stuff. So very basic, but uh, we talked for like a half hour just about how we're gonna try to fill me out. Oh, it's daylight savings time, isn't it? Or the opposite of that. 10 and five, nine, oh shit. Thank God for smartphones. But yeah, I'm on my way to the gym now. So my last training day is gonna be Wednesday, he said. No cardio Wednesday. We cut the cardio then. So, these 50 carb days are just post-workout, so we're training on zero carbs, and I'm gonna have some uh, cream of rice or oats or something post-workout. may have oats since the fats are up, but it's just time to get the work done, stay safe in the gym, and I will see you guys. We're hitting shoulders and calves today. That way, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we can do chest, back, arms, or chest, dry, back, by, and arms and uh, maybe some abs tomorrow, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So let's stay safe, bros. I'll see you guys in the gym. Had to make a quick pit stop at the gas station. Cuban coffee, baby, black. Ran that a pre-workout, not worried about it. Not sure if I'm gonna pick any up with just a few workouts left, but this is bomb, it's so strong. Alright, now we're in the gym. Alright guys, so we're getting in the shoulders and I'm gonna do abs, not calves. Just the timing of my posing and when the show is. I'm thinking getting two ab sessions in and one calf session in is gonna be what I want. So I wanna get abs out of the way now, but my goal for shoulders today is four exercises. The first two I want to work up to two heavy challenge sets. And then the last two, two or three more pump style sets. So use the energy I have now for a couple heavy sets and then finish off with whatever energy I have left for some pump work. So this is the first heavier set of rear delts. I'm gonna film this, go hard on it, and then I'm gonna do one more before I get into lateral raises. So I will catch you guys on my heaviest and hardest set of lateral raises. So definitely have a couple of warm ups, but um, yeah, these lateral raises are gonna get pretty heavy or at least pretty intense. So putting all the energy here and we'll pump it out.
guys, so damn, just finished up that last set of uh, shoulder press and whatever, cable pull-ups or whatnot. Did three working sets, 40 pounds, 45 and 50s, I think. Yeah, so I was gonna go for four, but three supersets was plenty, especially with that last set, gave it 100%, so got a couple good rear delt sets in, about three or four good lateral raises, and then three supersets, so that's it for shoulders. Now, abs. Fuck yeah. Gonna do two to three sets of cable crunches, two to three sets of leg raises, two sets of obliques. Guys, keeping it simple, but definitely painful. You're watching the last set where I do the stack. Stack's about 11 plates. I did a set with eight, or a set with seven, a set with nine, and uh, 10 leg raises and 11 or 12 side bends with obliques, which you'll see here. But the stack was a much more short-lived set. Trying to keep the strength and density up. And that's it. Good workout, took about 50 minutes. And, uh, about to go home and crush those carbs, so thank God. But uh, 150 carbs over three days should be fun. And this is what 50 carbs and 50 protein looks like post workout when you bomb your oats with like that much water. <laughs> So yeah guys, enjoying my only carb meal with some protein in it as well. I mix the protein in a shaker and just like a little bit of water so I don't like burn the hell out of it in the microwave. So I cook the oats for like seven, eight minutes in a ton of water. Then I shake up the whey and just pour it in and mix it and the oats are so hot, it combines nicely. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And shoulder workout was bomb, so ready to get depleted. I'm excited guys, let's do it. Couple deliveries came in guys, figured I'd show you since I've got more time. Pre-tanning stuff and powerhouse. Let's open this up. Little exfoliating stuff for a few days out from the show. They really recommend that you do this. So your tan sticks and then um, some lotion. So when you're tanning in the bed and exfoliating yourself, you don't get super dry, which I kind of am, so. About 30 bucks and I guess it's well worth it considering all the other shit you've put into the process so helps you look your best I guess and oh, another long sleeve hoodie whatever to train in to gym in to sleep in who knows gotta rep that powerhouse gym though all right guys that's it Couple requests of people wanting to know what I'm eating on these low carb days. It's the same thing I eat on regular carb days, except more of the low carb meals. So, what I do for veggies is a bag of sweet butter lettuce every meal because it's only 20 calories, which is pretty insane. I do 30 or 28 grams of peanut butter. It's pure peanut butter. Ingredients are only peanuts. I do 28 grams, so I get about 14 to 15 grams of fat, and then. 50 grams of protein from chicken, mix it all up, put some mustard on it, which I gotta do now, and that's a meal example. I'll do this two times a day. I'll do 15 grams of fat from macadamia nuts and or avocado. So now that we're upping fats to 80, I have to make some adjustments, but they'll be just like that. <laughs> 